You found Orangeburg's home for sports. ESPN Orangeburg, 1580 AM and 92.9 FM. The punter with SC State Sumter native Dyson Roberts Dyson changed Roberts. the course of the game with his boot. He might be their MVP so far. The punter was the MVP of this game, without a doubt. And boy, oh boy, did he punt that. Again, Dyson Roberts. Oh, he's going to fake it. Looked like he was and kicked it as he approached the line of scrimmage. Oh, my lord. He airmailed it. It's going to roll all the way oh. into the end zone. Dyson Roberts. Hi, I'm Kayla Lee, and this is All Access, brought to you by ESPN Orangeburg. Today I have with me Dyson Roberts, a.k.a. Hollywood. So, Dyson, how did the whole nickname Hollywood come about? Uh, Really, that was really like a self-made nickname. I was just going to see who was going to go with it, but I stick with it just because me. Uh, it was like really my own swag. I got my own swag on the field, and I just, when I'm on the field, I'm a different me. So I'm confident myself. And myself and my talents and what I do and just let it go. And I can honestly say that I think the world saw Hollywood uh, during the Celebration Bowl because the camera would not leave you alone. Yeah. They, wherever you were, the camera was. So, Dyson, you are from Sumter, South Carolina. So can you tell me a little bit about what that was like growing up for you? Uh, it was a very strict background based off church, very church, church background. You know how that goes with that. Um, strict family, not too crazy, but basic life, fun lifestyle, live life, basically. So at what age did you start playing sports, and what was the first sport you fell in love with? I uh, started playing sports basically as soon as I could. Started off playing soccer. Fun. That was the best sport of my life. I played there. I picked up on football, middle school, type time around that, 11, 12. So with soccer being the most popular sport in the world, um, who is your favorite soccer player of all time? Cristiano Ronaldo. He's he the greatest of all time, for sure. And then I can kind of see why you would say that, because he's also one of the most flashiest um, soccer players out there. And, you know, with you being a punter, so that takes a lot of leg strength. So when you started playing football in middle school, um, were you like, well, the leg already strong, so I might as well just be a punter or a kicker. Is that kind of how it went about for you? Uh, really, middle school, I started off trying to play receiver, stuff like that. It didn't really work out <laughs> the best of my ability. But ended up, I played soccer, so this one I started kicking. And that's when the flow started going. And, you know, there are not many African-American kickers in the NFL or even in, like, regular college football. So do you have anybody that you particularly look up to? Uh, Marquette King given, and Presley Harvin, given two black NFL punters and knowing them close knit with those guys and Patrick McCaffrey. It's one of my favorites too. So has any of those guys, because I know Percy, he's he's closer in our age. Mm -hmm. So has he kind of given you any advice or anything like that? Um, whenever I was in high school, because we went to the same high school. Okay. So he taught me everything that I uh, he could before he graduated with Georgia Tech. And but we stay in contact from here and there. Me and Marquette King do also. We stay in contact, get tips and stuff like that. So. Oh, that's great that you get to, you know, get advice from guys of that character. Okay, so Dyson, let's go into the Celebration Bowl. You went viral for being the most exciting funder in college football. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how did you feel at that moment and how does all that attention kind of feel? Uh, it was a very humbling experience for me. Uh, I try not to get a big head from time to time. You know, from time to time I do. It's normal it's life. <laughs> But you got people back at school and home that humble me. I me, mean, I'm still just a person. I still got to make it first before anything. And, you know, I've like I said, I've watched a lot of college football and NFL, and I've never seen anybody play with a hoodie, you know. So what made you say, you know, I'm going to put a hoodie on? Uh, it's just, just my swag. It's just something that I do. I like to be different from the cleats on the field. And wearing an arm sleeve, back plate as a punter, you know, not too many people do that. So this is what I do. And I mean, not only were you flashy, but you were kicking the ball 65, 75 yards. And then you were doing it in a style that not many people have seen, you know. So it was like a rugby style kick type of deal. So 
what was the what was your mindset with doing a kick like that? Uh, going in, the game plan was to keep the ball away from them. Well, keep the ball from the return specialists as long as you could, and let your players get to the man first. So, held the ball as long as I could, and just kick the ball. And, it worked out with my best ability, so. And, I mean, one time you even got a touchdown saving tackle. So, how did that feel? Uh, tackling is something I like to do, something real fun to do. So, having a chance to tackle him in that aspect of the game was just the best part about it. So Yeah. Uh, Dyson Roberts is our punter, kicker. Uh, does a little bit of everything. He, he's a, uh, a special kind of uh, athlete at, at, at the punting position. So we can take that 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 ability and keep him from uh, keep teams from being able to to load up and try to rush us real hard because they got to be real careful. In the fact that Dyson run around them and, uh, and and maybe get a first down or two, so he'll be a good weapon for us to have in a way that he takes a lot of pressure off of our kicking game. And you know, you get to play for a legendary coach in Coach Buddy Pugh. Um, and not only is he a great coach, a lot of people say he has a lot of personality. So what is it like being under him? Uh, being up under Coach Pew is something that everybody should want to have opportunity to have. And Coach Pew is just a great man to be around, great man to be with, great man to learn from on and off the field. And, you know, every, fo- every player has a why for, you know, why they – Ha, you know why they're dedicated to getting up at 6 a.m. in the morning and you know make sure you at every practice every workout every film session so what is your why uh my mom's brother uncle my uncle just uh late passed last year uh, he always taught me stay focused uh he played football and he made some decisions off the field and kind of messed them up so teach me stay on the course stay on my grind don't let nobody throw me off and if you could describe Dyson Roberts, a.k.a. Hollywood, in three words, what would those words be? <laughs> it's, it's a lot of words that you could describe. Um, over the top, <laughs> uh, funny, uh, and just obnoxious. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. You like to have fun around here. So I like to keep everybody happy. So, Dyson, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out and doing this interview with us. And we can't wait to see you next season because, you know, you might have to bring the hoodie back out again. You know, celebrations on 10. You know, because people are going to be looking for that now. Celebrations on 10,000. Okay. Uh, Once again, I'm Kayla Lee, and this is All Access brought to you by ESPN Orangeburg.